So we have a a reliably re, reliable system here, reliability system with an alarm clock. So we've got some questions here we want to have answered. So what is the probability that a student's alarm clock will not work in the morning um, for an important final exam? Well, it states above there's a 14.1% chance of daily failure. So that means that it's simply going to be 0.141. Okay, so, and that's rounded to three decimal places. If the student has two such alarm clocks, what is the probability that both will fail in the morning? So all you do in this case is you do 0 0.141 raised to the second, and what we end up with rounded to five decimal places is going to be um, 0 point, or excuse me, it's not zero. Oh yeah, zero point zero one nine eight eight. What is the probability of not being wakened if the student uses three independent alarm clocks? In this instance, it's going to be 0 0.141 raised to the third. Because what you're doing is you're multiplying the probability uh, times each alarm clock. So in this instance, it becomes 0 0.0028. That's pretty much what it rounds to. Okay. Um, so it's very low. So do the second and third alarm clocks result in improved liability? Yes, absolutely. Um, it's not impossible, but it's very unlikely that uh, they will not, um, there will not be a day where at least one of them goes off. If you want to figure it out how, how many days it will take before you get that, you just do one divided by 0 0.0028. So it gives us roughly, it looks like 357 days. So it's like maybe once a year, it just happens to be that all three of them fail, but that's pretty rare. You can always add the fourth one. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.